Kevin Robinson. It's been a fun ride for a couple days. Let's see what's uh, in the weeds here just ahead of us. Well, erase the word spring. I think we'll start right there. I know it felt like it yesterday and it sure felt like it today, but we've got major changes in store. Here's a live look at radar right now. There's a cold front, believe it or not, sneaking its way through the area. However, as we expected, it's going to come through rain free. Now behind this front, some cooler weather conditions going to settle in. Initially, it won't be so bad. I'm talking about tomorrow, Friday and Saturday. We won't hit 60 but it's not going to be terribly cold. That's coming next week. But before that happens, though, we might have a little wintry weather in here on the end of the weekend. So outside right now, despite the fact clouds have rolled in, it's still pretty mild, at least down along the Ohio River. Farther north, temperatures have already dropped 58 degrees officially over there at the airport in northern Kentucky. And by dropped, this is what I mean. Notice you're already down into the mid 40s in southeast Indiana, Batesville, Brookville, Oxford at 45. Notice around the metro, we're still kind of close to 60, but as warm as the low 60s in our far southeastern communities. So that cooler air is sneaking its way in this evening from northwest to southeast. That's how it will progress. So notice it's still almost 60 in cold spring, but down the 54 on the north side of town, Sharonville and Mount Healthy. You're already down to 51 there in Harrison. So this cooler air is beginning to slowly sneak its way in. Thursday and Friday again aren't going to be bad days. High pressure will generally scoot across the region and that's going to for the most part keep us dry and at least still offer to some degree some sunshine out there. But this is just the tip of the cooler air that's coming in right now. Notice as you go farther north and west to the Ohio River, it gets significantly colder. Look at Indianapolis already down to 38 and you've dropped to 26 up there around Chicago and that's where our air will be coming from tonight. So expect temperatures to follow suit this evening. Should see a pretty significant fall. If you have plans on this Wednesday evening, you can go out now without a jacket, but you're going to need it by the time you come back in or you get ready to head home. Notice temperature 53 at 630, but by midnight we're already down close to freezing, so we'll fall pretty quickly here during the 730, 830, 9 o'clock hour as well. So here's a look at future cast. Again, just some clouds scooting by. Skies will attempt to clear overnight tonight. Expect some sunshine tomorrow. We'll have we'll go in and out of the clouds. Now, this wants to bring in a little weak system with a few flurries or maybe sprinkles in our southernmost communities. I'm going to keep us dry for now, especially up along the river and points north. Otherwise, quiet into Friday morning. And as I mentioned, Friday doesn't look bad. I don't see a bad ending to the week under a mixture of sun and clouds. All this dry weather is good for us because it's allowing the Ohio River to fall as projected. Now again, it's still currently in minor flood just below 53 and a half feet, but notice it's expected to fall. In fact, get back close to well below action stage by the end of the weekend there. And again, the winds tonight going to continue to come in out of the north, bringing in those colder temperatures. So 27 for an overnight low, mostly cloudy and breezy tomorrow, slightly cooler, mostly cloudy. Temperatures will be about 20 degrees cooler, but only back closer to where we should be for this time of the year. So not too bad on Friday and then on Saturday. Here's what's so interesting on Saturday. We could make a run well into the 50s only to be hit with the possible snowfall on Sunday. That still looks like it has the potential to accumulate and then it's back to downright January like temperatures early next week. Look at those numbers. We're not missing them there. Those are single digit lows and highs that may barely make it out of the teens Tuesday into Wednesday. All right, that six and that eight will definitely get your attention. <laughs> right. Well, her